When it comes to training, terms and conditions to oil and gas commercial procurement and contracting professionals, the biggest issue that I learned about is the unevenness of the knowledge. Contracting and procurement professional knows a lot about certain topics and not enough about others. Smart Contracts Blog The bright side of contracting in oil and gas. Welcome to the Smart Contracts Blog. In this episode, I will talk about the importance of the contract knowledge evaluation. And let's begin. Special thanks to Hub Project. Located here in the heart of the uh, Mexico City, Hub is the unique and unparalleled platform for connection, creation, and innovation. Thank you very much for hosting the filming of the Smart Contracts Blog. It was utterly eye-opening for me when I started to train in 2010, when I started to train uh, procurement professionals, contracting professionals, and later commercial professionals in contracting and contractors of many tiers in upstream oil and gas. Uh, it was utterly eye-opening for me to learn that people do know a lot, but the same people don't know very basic things. As lawyer, I received a very, very step-by-step, -step, a very gradual, uh, gradually induced amount of knowledge about the contracts. And the main thing that we were studying as lawyers, and you don't have to be an upstream oil and gas, is that the contract is a certain uh, agreement between two or more parties that has to contain certain essential terms. That is basic knowledge for a lawyer, and yet that knowledge will be absent in some of even very senior contracting and procurement professionals, and that is why. Procurement professional has to follow rigid protocols and procedures on how to procure certain items, certain goods and services on budget, on time, and you know, within a certain framework of the contract, terms and conditions, rules, procedures of its own company that are applicable to contractors uh, and suppliers. When doing so, a procurement professional will have a certain set of terms and a whole philosophy and a whole terminology which is completely different from any other field of industry or any other field of science or philosophy. And in certain processes and protocols, it is very clear and very often in upstream that's the case that a purchase order is not a contract. A contract is one governance, one rule, one set of, set of procedures and protocols, and a purchase order is a totally different amount of rules and a certain different set of protocols and so on. There will be even buyers dealing with purchase orders and contract engineers dealing with, with um, uh, contracts or agreements. And yet, there is a very basic legal knowledge that a purchase order is the contract from a legal standpoint. Still, for procurement professional, a purchase order is not a contract. So what I've seen during a number of years, and I think it's extremely important to allow um, you know, to allow yourselves to be assessed from a contractual standpoint or to be evaluated to achieve a certain evenness, to remove the disparity of the knowledge. Uh, so what I've seen is that a senior contracting and procurement professional will know a lot about lost and whole clause, about how to deal with indemnities, about how to draft, review, negotiate a knock-for-knock -knock indemnity, pollution indemnity, a limit of liability clause, how to carve out things from limit of liability clause. All those things the procurement professional knows very well, negotiates the contracts, deals with the contracts, whether it's drilling or EPC or services contracts and the same procurement professional with a lot of years of experience due to the nature of his or her profession would be really puzzled with the question is purchase order a contract to verify those subtle gaps to see where i can help to my students more efficiently 
I have developed uh, developed a contract evaluation, which essentially is a test, uh, a, a very sophisticated test with difficult questions and with very easy questions and with a set of recommendations that comes after the test. I'm very grateful to my partners, to my clients, large upstream oil and gas organizations that allowed me to test drive my test. So it became better each time I have delivered it, each time I ran through, I, I took it and ran with it through uh, uh, a number of people. I test uh, uh, driven it for a while. Uh, each time it became better and more sharp and more precise with answers, recommendations and with the questions. If you're interested to participate uh, in the contract knowledge evaluation, if you are open and honest and transparent with yourself, whether you are very senior in contracting and procurement or not that senior, mid-level, uh, in, in commercial professional uh, profession as well, uh, let me know. Uh, we will conduct once a week for uh, on an organizational level, we will conduct that test, the contract knowledge evaluation, that's a proper name, uh, with a group of people. And in that group of people can be you. Uh, one thing you will see where your knowledge is despair. Uh, if you respond 100% to every question and every question is correct, that's a really great feeling because the questions are written and scripted for you by a lawyer. Uh, so if you are there at that level and you don't have any disparity of the knowledge, you will learn about that and it will be a, a, you know, a, good, a good thing to know. Uh, but if you do have a certain disparity, again, which I notice in most of the people I deal with, uh, then you will be able to get those points only those points and address them without the need to go and, and, and decide on whether I know contracts well or not. I hope this video and, and the invitation uh, was helpful and useful for you. And I will see you in the next episode of the Smart Contracts blog. Also join my course on understanding contractual terms and conditions in upstream oil and gas online, a full e-learning experience with a lot of eye-opening information about terms and conditions in upstream oil and gas.